Holiday greetings from Aging is for Everyone. Hi, I'm so happy. I can't wait to bring this show to you today. I'm your host, Leilani Pelletier, and today's show is about laughter and joy, and it's going to be a great time. Wait till you see what's on this table and what we have for you today in terms of laughter, exercising with laughter, and even a little improvisation comedy. So we've got three great guests today. We're going to start out with a woman who uh, can teach you about laughter yoga. And I'm so excited to introduce Karen Kolarski. Welcome to Aging is for Everyone. Well, thank you, Lilani. I'm so happy to be here. I understand you know all about laughter yoga. Tell us what laughter yoga is. It's kind of a growing and uh, emerging thing. Yes, it is. I've been actually practicing laughter yoga for nearly 10 years now. And I, it's been life changing for me. It really has. And it's a pleasure to be able to, it's so fulfilling for me to help other people, you know, see shifts and changes in their life experiences too. It's basically, it's a worldwide phenomenon right now. It's, a, it's an exercise program, a very unique concept in which we laugh for no reason. And it was started, that means we don't use any jokes or comedy. And it was actually started by this man, Dr. Madan Kataria. Oh. And he's a medical doctor from India. And he started this 20 years ago with five people. And now there are hundreds of thousands of people of all ages who are practicing laughter yoga in more than 100 countries. So you said people use it as a form of exercise. Yes. Uh, tell me more. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm so glad to tell you. What we do is we get together in groups, and sometimes we even do it one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Or we can do it in small groups or large groups. And in India, they practice this in public parks on their way to work in the morning as a means of de-stressing and getting ready for their work day. So what we do is we get together in groups, and we practice gentle stretching, deep breathing, laughter exercises, and a, we throw in a little bit of childlike playfulness. We play a lot in our imaginations. So how would someone do this in their own home? So there's laughter yoga, and we have like mm -hmm. your website and contact information for you for a group setting. Right. But how might someone who maybe couldn't do that right away, could they start some exercises on their own? They could, yes. We'll do a little, a little brief demo in a few minutes, okay? Oh, sure. Um, but they can actually learn some of the breathing techniques. Okay. And I often say to people who are living alone, I suggest that they go to their bathroom mirror. And if they look in that mirror, they now have two people and they can have a laughter yoga session with them and the reflection in the <laughs> works, mirror. <laughs> <that> works. <laughs> yeah, they usually get a big kick out of that. So, um, And so sometimes it just starts with um, a little bit of voice exercises like taking a deep breath and then just using vowel sounds like <laughs> or, <laughs> or oh, <laughs> and they start feeling a little um, action in their belly area, really, right around where the diaphragm is. So just by doing the simple techniques of, of uh -huh. that, um, you can start to actually have some type of reaction to it. Yes, okay. yes. And I often, I suggest too to people to have, if they live alone, to have like a little joy kit. And that's why I put some of my little furry friends in, you on the front table here. You little furry friends here. Yeah, because if you press um, the, the buttons on them, sometimes they'll sing a cute little song that the dog sings, you've got a friend, you know. And anything that brings you joy. I also, sometimes I work with people with maracas uh -huh. or bells. You know, and sometimes with seniors in independent living centers, if they have some memory loss issues, we do a lot with singing, and we might do, you know, with exercise and, you know. So just movement. having a joy kit, your own kit of yeah. fun things. Yes, yeah, anything to bring joy in your life. Because Dr. Madan, he told us that there are four pathways to joy. Laughter, singing, dancing, and play dancing or movement. That's really how children get to joy in their lives. And so what we do in laughter yoga is we incorporate all of that into a laughter session. And it helps them to tap their inner child, their childlike joyfulness. Which is very easy to lose in today's world. Yes. So these simple yes. techniques. Yes. Could you show us some of them? 
Uh, I would love to. All right. Okay, all right. So what I usually do is say, are you ready to play? Or I invite you in to play. And so what we do first is we warm up our hands a little bit. So just follow me, okay? okay? And then slow it down just a little bit and use the words ho, ho, ha, ha. So follow me. Ho, ho, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ho, ho, ha, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> that worked. That worked. That, wow. It it's the simplest things. Isn't that crazy? That's incredible. Yeah. Yes, it really was. It was just an involuntary. Thank you for You're doing welcome. that. <laughs> and now we, can, we could even build a little milkshake. If you put two hands okay. up, we're going to mix milk and ice cream back and forth, and then we drink it with laughter. Are you ready? I'm ready. Set? Set. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. Eh. Now drink it with laughter. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was very nervous about that. Do you find people want to get it right? They're so they get so intent oh. on doing it right that they that, that brings they really up a really joy. good point, Lilani, because one of the things that Dr. Madan found that the brain, our brains, know the difference whether it's fake laughter as an exercise or real laughter where it's spontaneous. The body from the neck down does not have a clue. Okay. okay. So what we Makes do, sense. that's why Dr. Madan found in the research that if we did it as an exercise program that we could derive the health benefits mind, body, and spirit, and there are many physical benefits as well, such as boosting our immune system, helping uh, to lower our blood pressure, our blood sugar, you know, um, pump our blood, and get our, uh, our chest open, and you know, so we really, it's like a total well-being workout. It, it really is, and it's low impact, and it's safe, and it's also yes. good for, for the emotions, and so our yes. last minute, we're wrapping up here, but you just said something really important, that first exercise we did, mm -hmm. that felt like a spontaneous laugh. That came out of absolutely nowhere. The second exercise, I was so focused on trying to do it right, and uh -huh. obviously, you know, not everyone's comfortable doing, learning new things in front of someone else. Well, usually what I say to people at the beginning, there's, you can only do it right in laughter yoga. That's I let them know that right from the beginning, and we fake it till we make it. <laughs> That's what we do, yeah. okay? So you absolutely, it's about relaxing and just playing, you know, and just inviting them in and let them see what happens, because after all, we know that laughter is contagious, and that's why it works. It is, and thank you for making me laugh, and we're going to be oh, laughing good. more throughout the rest of the show in a couple different oh, ways. wonderful. So we're going to take our furry friends, and we're going to appreciate uh, Dr. Pronounce his, his Dr. Name? Madan Kataria. He can be reached uh, at the laughteryoga.org site that's that you're correct, seeing on yes. the screen. And there are many free resources on there. And yes. you can see them on your website. Thank yeah. you, Karen, for joining You're us. You're most welcome. Thank and you. And we'll see you right back here with more laughter.